So this is the part of the countertop that's going up. This is the one of the two large pieces. There's one piece that's larger than this, and then we have two small pieces. The really small piece actually can't be used in here. It's too small, but we'll hold on to it anyway. Um, but we have more than enough to cover the kitchen counters. Um, so the four pieces of countertop we got down in the Dallas-Fort Worth area about four years ago. And total price, Jan, drum roll. How $47. much? $47. $47 for the countertop. For over 22 feet of countertop. Yeah, so yay! And you're, you're going to see the insulation here in, after the commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ready for the counter. Well, folks, so what's happening here is I know that most kitchens have a diagonal cut in the corner. But this is a shed that we're converting. And we've come to find out that nothing is square in here. And we also are not confident in cutting a diagonal. <laughs> So we have decided to square it. I know. Scream if you want to, but um, what Jan is going to do is I'm going to make a cut right about here, maybe even further back, but all the way to there. And that cuts off this finished edge and this rounded piece. And then I can take the square edge and slide it up so we'll have a seam right here. And hopefully not a very distinctive seam. If all goes well. If all goes well, a very slight seam. And of course we'll caulk it and do all of that. Yeah. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Yeah. Me too. We'll get some uh, brackets and we'll connect this to the cabinet and then we'll cut the hole for our sink. Which will go right about here. Because there will be a Microsoft right here. I mean window. <laughs> yes. We are uh, pulling one window from the other side of the sh shabin. That will eventually be a door, and we're going to put it here above the kitchen sink. So, there we go. And there's our square cut. Yeah. We have a we have a piece that goes in the back the backsplash back there in the back here. We have a piece that goes there, but that is our square cut. So. Yeah make it work. Yeah, a little of that caulking stuff that they use and, and we have to get some the side trim here. Yeah, we'll have to iron on the side trim. Yeah. And now we're going to go and get the sink. Yeah. Because it's a different sink that, that was we were using. Yeah, it's in the work shed. I'll just have to go up and get it. And then we'll measure and cut a hole and holy cow. Holy cow, Batman. Holy cow. Holy counters. <laughs> Sweet. We're very close. Oh. Compared to what we were cooking on, uh, what, a year ago? Yeah. A pallet top with a two burner Coleman stove. We'll show you a picture of that in one, one little shabin. We didn't have this big one yet. Yeah. Okay.
So just wanted to let you know that in this space right here in the corner, we have cut a hole that's underneath the sink that will go back into the storage. And those little grated things right there are from a friend's farm. They were two feet by five feet shelves. Um, and we've decided to cut them up. There we go. And use them as shelves in there. Only because, um, well, they were free. And there's a lot of ventilation. There's a lot of air moving in there. So we don't have to worry about, you know, condensation. Oh. Which you do have to worry about in a shed. Because it's a shed, not ours. So... That's cool. Yep. Guess what? What? It looks like the kitchen. <laughs> Countertops are secure and in. They are secure. This is temporary. Yeah. I still have the tape on it. But the hole was cut. The Hole's sink cut. was set. Fit. Once we get the uh, plumbing done. We'll put the putty around, take the tape off, put the putty around, put the clamps on, and but holy smokes! Order snarkies. I know. It's almost a kitchen. Yeah. Wow. And. Cut the hole so we have access to that storage back there. Yep. A few more things to do. Yeah. But wow. Such an improvement. Yay.